name is Kathy, and today we will be starting Lesson 5 from the Teach Yourself to Play the Folk Harp book by Sylvia Woods. In my video called Before You Begin, I go over a lot of details concerning practicing and issues that uh, you might be experiencing uh, with regards to learning the folk harp. Please review this video to answer many of your questions. This music course starts to pick up speed from this lesson on, and you will find that you need to spend more and more time with each of these lessons. This is perfectly normal. However, one of the goals you probably have for yourself with regards to the harp is the concept of being able to just sit down with your harp and playing music for yourself and others' enjoyment. This requires a special set of skills called sight reading. Sight reading is the ability to sit down at your harp and open a new piece of music and just play it from start to finish in an acceptable fashion. We will start this process in a modified form and how you do this is you go back to the pieces in lessons 1 through 4 and play them just once before you begin the material in lesson number 5. Do this at each practice session. Just play the pieces from lesson 1 to 4 just once. In lesson 5 we begin to use the bass clef and its notes. Those of you new to reading music will already have a head start via the note speller flashcards. Now we will begin to put all of that to work. This lesson starts on page 34 with a discussion on the treble and bass clefs. Usually the right hand will play the notes of the treble clef and the left hand will play the notes of the bass clef. The first example shows all the notes of the bass clef. You will note that middle C can be written in either clef and looks like the example shown. The next example shows how the same note can be written in the alternate clef via ledger lines. To help you remember the notes of the bass clef, we use special phrases, just like for the treble clef. For the lines of the bass clef, the phrase is, Great big dogs fight animals. For the spaces of the bass clef, we use the phrase, All cows eat grass. Now, go through some of the pieces in the rest of the book and name the notes in the bass clef for practice. Do this until you feel certain about them. To start this lesson, go over all the exercises from lesson to 1 to 4 before beginning the exercise from lesson 5. In our exercise for lesson 5 on page 35 of your book, place your fingers on the strings one measure ahead of need. For example, while playing the left hand, place the right hand on the notes in the next measure. Then, while playing your right, place your left, and so forth. In this manner, try to play the exercise without having to stop at the end of each measure to place your hands after the fact. Our first piece of music for this, this lesson is called Drink to Me Only with Thine Eyes. The origin of this tune is unknown, but it is commonly used with a poem by Ben Jonson written, written in 1616. This piece is our first experience with pay, playing bass clef notes. Practice this piece hand separately until you feel confident of the notes and rhythms and put the piece hands together. Remember to clap and count out the rhythm of each hand. Our next piece of music for this lesson is called Planksty George Brabazon and is our introduction to a famous Irish harper named Turlough O'Carolan, 1670 to 1738. About 200 of his tunes are in existence and many more tunes are far falsely attributed to him. He began studying the harp at the age of 18 when he was blinded by smallpox. At 21 he set out with a horse, a guide, and his harp to make his way as an itinerant harper. He was welcomed into the best houses in Ireland and was always treated with respect and esteem. 
Many of his pieces are planksties, or songs written in honor of the patrons or members of their households. He sometimes used well-known tunes and wrote new words for them. Only a few of his lyrics still remain in existence. This planksty was written in honor of George Brabazon of County Mayo, who was then a young bachelor. The tune is also known in Scotland as Twa Bonnie Maidens. Practice this piece first, hands separately, until you feel comfortable with the notes and rhythms of the piece. Then put the piece hands together. Remember to clap and count out the rhythms of each hand before playing. And our final piece of music for this lesson is the well-known piece called Scarborough Fair from England. Once again, practice this piece hands separately until you feel comfortable with the notes and rhythms of this piece. Then put the piece hands together. Remember to clap and count out the rhythms of each hand before playing. So, to recap, first play through all the pieces from Lesson 1 to 4 once as your first modified sight reading exercise. Next, practice all of the exercises from Lesson 1 to 4 before starting in on the new exercise for Lesson 5. Then practice all the pieces from Lesson 5, hands separately, and then hands together, remembering to clap and count out the rhythms of each hand before you begin to practice the notes. Hello, this is exercise number five. see, remember to place your hands one after the other as you go up the harp. Okay, and our first piece is Drink to Me Only with Thine Eyes. Our next piece is Planksty George Brabazon 